In this video, we're going to try and work out the arc length of y equals x squared um, from from zero to one. So the arc length is uh, is the is this length here from zero to uh, to a. So from zero to a. So really, a a is the uh, a is a horizontal distance from zero to a. But we're after the arc length. The arc length is being being this length here. Uh, but in order for us to do this, I, I do require you to know that when you integrate this, you will get this whole thing here. And, uh, and I've done a video on this, so if you don't understand this, then track down that video. So, to work out this arc length here, uh, we, we're going to use this formula. The arc length is given by, given by this. And there, there's a reason why the arc length is given by this formula. Um, I've done a video on this as well, so track down that video. Uh, the arc length is given by this. So, um, so if you look at the formula, the arc length is given by this. Looking at the formula, you, you require dy by dx. And then once you've got your dy by dx, you've, you've got to square it. Okay, so, so the, uh, so starting with y equals x squared, because we're, we're, we're looking at this, uh, this graph here. So starting with y equals x squared, uh, differentiate it. So dy by dx is given by this. And going back to the formula, the arc length is given by this. Well, you need to know dy by dx. Once you know dy by dx, you've then got to square it. Once you know dy by dx, you then got to square it. So that will then give you this. So now we can put this into into this bit here. Okay. So uh, so that will then take us to here. So now it's just a matter of integrating this. Now integrating this is quite difficult. So uh, so to integrate this, hang on. So, uh, so to integrate this, your, your eyes should zoom into this bit. Create a right angle triangle in such a way that this will be true. So if you make this to be, uh, if you make this to be 2x, if you make this to be 1, then, then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be 1 plus 4x squared by using Pythagoras. So, uh, so if, if you, if you look at 10, okay, so, 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 so to integrate this, create your triangle in such a way that, uh, that it will be true. So you're trying to integrate this. You're trying to integrate this. Create a triangle in such a way that this thing will be true. True. Then this will then give you your your triangle. Now once you've got your triangle, once you've got your once you've got your triangle, um, tan tan would be this. Tan theta would be this. So tan theta would be two x over one, which is this bit here. Now, looking at the formula here, you 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 ultimately want to replace this uh, this dx here. So from here, differentiate both sides. Then that this bit here will then become this. This will then become this. So uh, so dx is given by this. So we can we can then put this into the dx. Now lo looking at this here, um, we ultimately want to replace this complicated thing here. Well, this complicated thing here is is a secant of theta because secant Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. Hypotenuse over adjacent, which is this thing here. So we can put secant theta into this complicated thing here. Then this whole thing here will then become this. Will then become this. And don't forget, we've got to leave our, our, so, so here we are integrating from zero to, to a. But once we've made it, well, once we've made the substitution, we are now working in terms of in terms of theta, so so I guess we I guess we could do this. Leave it as x equals zero from x equals uh, a, but we we can't leave it as this. We can't leave it as this because we we are integrating with respect to theta now. We we just made our substitution. So let's let's just leave it as x equals um, equals zero from x equals a, and then later we're going to switch everything back in terms of x. Then, uh, then we can then. Well, I hope you understand that. We, um, we, we're going to leave us this x from x equals zero from x equals a. So now it's just a matter of integrating this. Tidy this up. This will then give you. This will then give you this. Okay. So, so leave this blank for the time being. Later on, we're going to switch it back to x. Uh, and then now it's just a matter of integrating this. Remember from the start of the video, I require you to, to know that when you integrate this, it will then give you this whole thing here. So when you integrate this, it will then give you this whole thing here. So, uh, so that will then take us to here. That will then take us to here. Okay. And then, uh, 
and then and then and then oh yeah and then uh, and then we 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 don't want the answer in terms of theta we want to change everything back into x so uh, so, to, so 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 we need to translate it so going back right from the start we said let's tan theta be uh, be 2x uh, remember our triangle like this uh, we uh, it was 2 1 and then root whatever here and then tan theta tan theta is uh, is well tan theta equals 2x over 1 which is just 2x well earlier we made this substitution here well if, if tan theta equals this thing here then uh, then then if you inverse tan equally to both sides then theta would be this thing here so so theta is this thing here well then you need to put this thing here into back into here uh, and then this tan theta here we, we could put it back into here but but don't because uh, here you you know that tan theta is 2x so we can put 2x into this thing here okay and and uh, uh, and then you can you can do the same over here but then this this uh, secant theta thing we need to tidy up because um, uh, uh, because okay if you put this into here and then uh, uh, if you put if you um, if you put this theta this is in effect theta if you put theta into here then this this bit here will then become this will then become will then become this secant of Remember this. This is our theta here. It looks really ugly because you've got you've got a trick acting on a trick. So we need to we need to tidy this bit up because this bit here is really ugly. Um, tan theta is is nice and simple. Tan theta is simply is simply two x, which is this bit here. Okay, but but this bit here is really ugly because you've got theta theta equals this thing, and then you've got, you got you put this thing into into here, and then you're gonna have uh, secant and uh, secant acting on inverse tan acting on 2x so you've got this thing here so let's tidy this thing up okay so so to tidy this thing up you know to tidy this thing up look at your triangle um what what does this mean what is you, you got to ask yourself what does this mean remember you're trying to tidy this bit just this bit up so uh so inverse tan 2x or well, tan is this thing here so tan uh so tan so tan theta equals uh, equals two x over 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 one. Okay. So uh, so you've got this thing here. So uh, so if if you if you look at this bit here, if you inverse tan this thing here, if you inverse this, then then theta equals inverse tan uh, of two uh, x. What what this bit here is the angle itself. It is this angle here. Think think about it. Uh, if you're trying to understand what what this bit means, if you're trying to understand this, well, this thing here is the angle itself. It is the it is the angle. Now 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 look at this bit. You're you're going to secant the angle. Well, if you secant the angle, if you secant the angle, then it's going to be it's going to be uh, hypotenuse over adjacent. So so it simply becomes uh, one o oh, one plus four x squared okay so on, let, let me just repeat this so so to translate this um, you you got to look at this bit here what does this bit mean well this bit means well uh, this bit means well, well this bit means the angle it is this block here this block here is the angle and then and then when you come to secant the angle well if you secant the angle then then it's going to be this thing divided by this thing which is Square root of one plus four x, and so on. So, uh, so this whole block here, this whole block here becomes becomes this. Okay. So, so therefore, this whole thing here will then become will then become this. Okay. Um, hang on. Going back to uh, going back one step. Um, so, so we we were we were working in terms of theta here. Now that we've uh, we've substitute back into uh, Back into the x, we, we can now use our our x equals zero here, and then x equals a here. So we can we can switch back to uh, to our normal uh, from zero to a. Okay. So anyway, uh, we sorry uh, we are now so 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 to translate this, it will then becomes this. 
it then becomes this. And then you can use the same technique for this one as well. So you can use the same technique to uh, to tidy this bit up. Okay. Well, a anyway, um, uh, anyway, this whole thing here will then become will then become this. Okay. And then uh, and then and then and then uh, if if you put you then have to put this into here into here. Uh, into here and so on, and then take away, uh, z put zero into here. Well, if you put zero into all of these, then this whole thing here will be zero. Well, anyway, the arc length is given by this. So the arc length, meaning, meaning uh, this, uh, meaning, meaning this length from here to here, is given by this whole thing here. Okay.